Hello guys, my name is Amit Sani and I welcome you on this Delhi UPSC MCU series. In the evening, these lessons are coming. In the morning, the Hidden Knowledge videos they are coming. So follow both the lessons religiously and important issues we are discussing from current affairs section and PIB, the Hindu newspaper, Indian Express, the magazine, speak EBW magazine. All we are referring here. So let's start the lesson. Important paid content by three important faculties is available at one fifty nine rupees per month. That's accessible and Pocket News app is trending on Google Play regarding that uh, 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 regarding those courses you can get the description below the video you can call on these two numbers any issue any query any problem if you face then uh, you can call on these two numbers and all the solution you will get there telegram channel is given here on this Facebook group so send me a request there there you will get the PDF of all these videos you can follow me on Instagram too first question economic outlook for Southeast Asia it is specifically for a region so that's why it's uh, important and uh, this important report was released during the ASEAN summit going on in Bangkok Thailand so this was not ASEAN obviously this report was released by OECD group okay so C is the right answer here and we are not the part of OECD group you all know PISA test was also uh, related to OECD group so the same group and uh, this report for Southeast Asia region the report was presented at the ASEAN summit there and the important title was responding to environmental hazards in cities and they have also talked about the India's growth projections like uh, for the next uh, four years phase 20 to 24 they say India is gonna grow at 6.6 percent and average growth of 13 to 17 was 7.4 so these are some projections and they are saying that Vietnam and Philippines are going to be the growth leaders for Southeast Asia region specifically the ASEAN countries so that's important and uh, all the important basics they are talking there so OECD group has released the important report economic outlook for Southeast Asia next Indo-German energy forum was it launched recently during the Angela Merkel's important visit to India no uh, it was launched 13 years back in 2006 and this year it was the eighth edition of it important bilateral relations are there and the area is energy and it is not only the renewable energy you cannot say this statement is wrong it is the total framework uh, where energy renewable energy the conventional energy coal hydroelectricity everything is covered there and they are signing important mous there so this is wrong first is also wrong Dina is the right answer there because it was not recently launched it was the eighth edition of it these are, these are the important areas where they signed important agreements eight agreements were signed and uh, it finalized the future collaboration between countries that include flexibilization of uh, existing coal fired power plants and promotion of energy efficiency the indo-german solar partnership which was founded in 2015 so regarding that also they discuss many issues and this energy forum was established in 2006 to enhance and deepen the strategic political dialogue on ongoing tr energy transition there okay so that, that that's an important issue now you see energy is the future and uh, a lot of transition is happening in this area electric vehicles e energy renewable energy solar energy wind energy we are targeting there and a lot of targets are there so this area is going to be very very important futuristic that's why the question may appear there next scostex scostex is going to be inaugurated in new delhi yes it is but what is this scostex it is mainly related to the sco group the shanghai cooperation organization and all the 10 seo members are going to participate in it you see this statement is not correct why because all the members will participate but you must remember there are only eight members not 10 in seo group that's why it, it is wrong first is correct only one is the correct option here you can see union home minister Amit Shahji will inaugurate the Shanghai cooperation organization joint exercise on urban earthquake search and rescue that's why Scostex in New Delhi and uh, the, the joint exercise is being hosted by NDRF the important force in India okay and important official uh, meetings will also be there now this Scostex to rehearse the disaster response mechanism the main issue is disaster disaster response mechanism that's why ndrf is hosting that so their knowledge sharing experience sharing and technology sharing for mutual coordination that's happening and all the eight seo members who are them india pakistan the new additions there 
एंड चाइना कजाकिस्तान किर्गिस्तान रशिया उजबेकिस्तान एंड तजिकिस्तान ऑल सेंट्रल एशियन कंट्रीज चाइना रशिया एंड इंडिया पाकिस्तान दे आर द एट मेंबर्स देयर दे विल बी पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दैट एंड हेयर द की फ्यूचर्स आर गिवन एंड अदर इंपॉर्टेंट डिटेल्स आर ऑल्सो गिवन नेक्स्ट न्यू कोलंबो प्लान मोबिलिटी प्रोग्राम is a signature initiative of government of sri lanka colombo is the important city in sri lanka but surprise surprisingly this new colombo plan mobility program is by government of australia it is not sri lanka that's why it's wrong and second is correct because australian university students will be given the opportunities to gain cross cultural awareness and experiences that are vital to today's globally connected world so second is correct only two is the correct option here you can see signature initiative of the government of australia where they are going to support around 11.2 uh, k students uh, from 40 australian universities there and they all will move to different asia pacific countries sorry indo pacific countries and uh, 60000 students will be given scum scholarships and other important grants and the 2020 mobility program also includes more than 1600 australian students taking part in study and projects in india by mobilizing through 64 exciting indian projects so they are surely going to come to india also many projects will be there okay military exercise center 2019 is related to which group asean no it is again related to the shanghai cooperation organization sco that's important and it was hosted by russia this year So second is correct. First is wrong. Only two is the correct option here. Center 2019. You see, India is going to host the 20th SCO's heads of the government meeting in 2020. This time it was there in Tashkent in Uzbekistan, where uh, Rajnath Singh ji went there as an envoy for Mr. Modi ji. Next meeting is going to be held in New Delhi. So they, all these all countries are supporting there, and Center 2019. is the sco joint military exercise and uh, held by russia there and uh, the military chiefs from all the countries they came there the member countries there okay so that's important they may ask you about that next 2019 edition of global microscope it's a title the enabling environment for financial inclusion means which countries they have enabled the financial inclusion environment there like the question was there in the upsc prelims 2015 that jandhan account scheme is the example of what so it was the financial inclusion aspect so that's why it's a important topic so financial inclusion and the report regarding that india is surely on the list but it is not on the top of it colombia is the top country there who has enabled uh, uh, that uh, that progressive environment for the financial inclusion there india is at the fifth position there so second is correct sorry wrong and first is correct because it was released by economic intelligence unit this is a part of the the economist group okay american group there and uh, economic intelligence unit releases this annual important publication global microscope and enabling environment so this time india is on the fifth position only one is the correct option here you can see eiu and it was the 12th edition it was started in 2007 okay and colombia being ranked at first position and followed by peru and uruguay three important countries first from south america fourth is mexico and fifth is india there okay only four countries namely india colombia jamaica and uruguay scored perfectly across all four parameters moreover india south africa tanzania mexico uruguay were among the top countries that safeguard e money via some sort of deposit insurance or protection so these detail, details are important these are all developing countries likewise countries and uh, south american countries uh, they follow indian models in many areas and india also follow them in many issues so importantly they are the real uh, uh, real you may say friends and not rivals like china or russia or america there so a lot we need to collaborate there so that's why these kind of reports are important and uh, here five parameters are given where eiu assess assesses these important countries this report was first published in 2007 title is the microscope report and regarding the financial inclusion they are talking about it 
नेक्स्ट कैलाश सत्यार्थी इज अमंग द रिसिपियंट्स ऑफ मदर टेरिसा मेमोरियल अवार्ड दिस ईयर येस इट इज करेक्ट रिगार्डिंग द सोशल जस्टिस कैटेगरी दिस इंपॉर्टेंट अवार्ड इज गिवन टू इंडिविजुअल्स एंड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बोथ ओके नॉट ओनली फॉर इंडिविजुअल्स ऑल्सो फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दिस एनुअल अवार्ड एज इट इज नॉट एस्टैब्लिश बाई डब्ल्यू बी गवर्नमेंट इट्स अ हार्मनी फाउंडेशन विच एस्टैब्लिश दिस अवार्ड एंड एंडोज बाय द मिशनरीज ऑफ चैरिटीज सेकेंड इज रॉन्ग फर्स्ट इज करेक्ट ओनली वन इज द राइट आंसर देयर कैलाश सत्यार्थी इज अ इंपॉर्टेंट चाइल्ड एक्टिविस्ट वी ऑल नो अबाउट हिम ही वॉन द नोबेल प्राइज ऑल्सो सो हारमनी फाउंडेशन देयर एंड द टाइटल फॉर दिस ईयर वॉज कॉम्बैटिंग कॉन्टेम्प्ररी फॉर्म्स ऑफ स्लेवरी एंड वेन वेन यू टॉक अबाउट स्लेवरी दैन द abuse cases for kids for uh, uh, women girls trafficking these all the new forms and especially for these areas the awards are given this this year okay the award will be presented to laureates on 3rd of november in mumbai means today they must have been given kailash satyarthi robert uh, uh, bilheimer junior jita uh, swami so these are also coming from other countries not only from india so that's important mother teresa memorial award Mother Teresa won the Nobel Prize in 1979 she won the Raven Magsesse award she won the Bharat Ratna award so many many recognitions she had and she devoted her life for the poor slum areas of Kolkata so her role was really really great four associations associations which received this award this year you can see here so this is all for today we will meet again tomorrow thanks a lot keep watching it was amit saini